Hello everybody, it's Luke here, and I'm back with another one review. And it's been some time since I did another one review. Oh, or a new one review anyway. Um, and this is a wand. <coughs> Sorry. This is a wand that I acquired yesterday at, as you can see here, the making of Harry Potter. And as you can see, it's quite plain. It's not anywhere near um, as detailed or colourful as the other ones. Depending on the wand you get um, at the studio tour, whether you order it online or actually go into the studio tour and buy it in the gift shop, depending on the wand you get, that depends on the colour of the box. Um, and it, the, the lighting in this room may not do it justice, but as you can see, the, it's a very plain grey, um, and this time around, the, um, in terms of whose wand it is, it's not on the top, it's on the side this time. So as you can see, this is Cho Chang's wand. So just open it up. Another difference is that the foam that you usually have is actually stuck up inside. It's not... Um, loose and it doesn't cover the wand but that's okay um another small difference is this small ticket here which says fragile collectible wand not a toy but now for the wand itself now again if the lighting isn't very good i do apologize um, but as you can see, around the brown, you have these um, brush, you have um, these black lines all across it. Hang on, I'm just going to turn my bedroom light on because I don't think you can see it. There we go. So, hang on, there we go. So, as you can see, it is very... You have it all around. You have it all around, basically. That's the copyright symbol for any of you who, that didn't know. And you have like these indented circles on each side. Um, it's a quite a long wand. It's quite similar to the elder wand in length. I didn't get that out to compare, unfortunately. So I can't really compare the length. But as you can see. Um, and towards the end of the shaft, you have this uh, sort of like circle pattern that goes up to there. It doesn't go all the way up. It just stops a few. <clears throat> um, it stops just before the end of the shaft now. Before, now, I'm going to turn your attention to the paint. Now, as you can see, there are black brush strokes all across the wand. Um, and there's actually another wand that they've painted just like this. And uh, interestingly enough, it's also a wand that I own. So I'm going to get that one now. Okay, so here is Cho's wand in comparison with Fred Weasley's wand, and as you can tell, if um, my webcam will be able to pick the uh, look up, you may be able to see that the black lines across it, across both wands actually, um, are identical and it does sort of look a bit crude if you look at it because the black lines they are quite thick if you think about it and from the shaft of Fred's wand the black lines go pretty much all the way up and through and you have the same thing throughout all of Cho's wand as well so 
that was just a little something that I wanted to point out. Anyway, back to this one, so, as you can see, there's this sort of spiral pattern on the handle. It feels quite good, it does feel very nice in the hand, but, as you can see, it's quite long, I mean, even if I put my thumb out to, like, here, you can still see there's quite a bit of shaft left there. Um... The feel of the circles is very nice. Um, it's probably one of the more detailed ones I've seen. Actually, um, and definitely one of the longest. Um, but anyway, uh, uh, well, as you can see, um, it sort it definitely tapers as you, so it becomes thinner as you um, go down the wand further. So, yeah, that is basic, um, you also have this small transition piece here in the middle, between the handle and the shaft, and it kind of makes me think of the transition point of Harry's wand, or even Voldemort's, if you look at it, because the shape is kind of similar. So, you know, you have the handle... You have this the transition piece here in the middle, and then you have the shaft. Um, but anyway, that is my review of Cho Chang's wand. Hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.